Welcome to the first demonstration of IoT water quality monitoring system using Blink application. So here water quality parameters like turbidity from this turbidity sensor, temperature from this DS18B20 temperature sensor and pH from this pH sensor module and water level using this ultrasonic SR04 sensor. So total these four parameters continuously upload to the Blink application and also lively monitor on this 16 by 2 LCD screen. So turbidity in a sensor nothing but it will provide us the water clarity nothing but how much of water was clearly uh, was there. So the status of the cl clearness will be displayed on this LCD in NTU the so units and temperature in DS 18 by 20 in degrees centigrade pH value uh, directly 0 to 14 and uh, uh, level of the water is percentage that is 0 to 100 percentage. So coming to this temper like uh, level sensor, so it has a two modules. One is a transmitter, another is a receiver. As you can see, that T transmitter or receiver. So when we place this on the top of the tanker, so transmitter will emit the ultrasonic waves, and the water surface will reflect the transmitted ultrasonic waves, and that reflected rays will be received by this receiver module. So whenever the controller triggers the transmitter, it will wait for the receiver signal. So means wait nothing but it will get the time and as we know the speed of the ultrasonic sound nothing but the speed of the sound only by multiplying these two we will get the distance of the water level so when before on the kit it will capture the distance so for the demonstration purpose we are calibrated dynamically so let us see now if you place in any water tank like this so now the floor is the depth of the tank and there is no water from here to the uh, floor so now the distance is considered as a zero directly and when the water was filling then the percentage of the water level will be increases so that dynamically we can get the percentage to any specific tanks so coming to the interfacing connections uh, turbidity sensor at a1 sen a1 pin of our uno board and ph sensor at a0 pin and lcd at pin number 22 pin number 7 and our ultrasonic sensor is connected at pin number 10 and 11 ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to send the data to the Blink application was interfaced at the pin number 8 and 9. So these are the main interfacing connections along with the temperature sensor at pin number 12. So these are the main input and output. So in our project input sensors are, I am repeating, turbidity, temperature sensor, ultrasonic sensor, pH sensor are the input modules and output are LCD display and Wi-Fi module. And in this one, this is the breadboard. So means we are providing 5 volts power supply from this adapter. So which will take 230 volts AC input and provide us a 5 volts constant DC output. So when we connect over here, so parallelly we are distributing that throughout the input and output modules in our project. So let us see demonstration before on the kits. So we need to install the Blink IoT application, the Blink Cloud application from the Play Store directly. So now the device is not connected to the internet. That's why we can see the offline over here. So to get it online, we need to provide the internet by switch on the hotspot in your mobile phone. So go to hotspot settings and configure the hotspot to project 5863 without any space, without any capital letter. Password should be 12345678. AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. After uh, properly configure that, check twice before on the hotspot and before on the gate. So on the hotspot, on the data, now we can stay on this one, now we can on the kit power supply. Now the welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen as you can see that. So this reset switch, the reset switch nothing but only reset the Arduino, you know, it won't reset the program. Right, after that automatically so it will keep on displaying the pH, temperature, level and turbidity. As we discussed, so now the system captured the floor height. So this is going to be the reference for the ultrasonic sensor as there is no uh, water. So now see I am placing the hand over there. Means the water level is increased near the sensor. So Let's place this here.
when you reset that it will capture the distance from the ultrasonic sensor after 2 seconds then it will go to the reference checking one now if I place any object over there so you can see there is no offline icon over here so just click on that there we get the pH value, turbidity and level and temperature that so same values over here so let me place this ps sensor and turbidity sensor inside this water sample input So slowly the so called pH value will keep on increase. So you can see the same values. So the first one is going to be the pH and turbidity is a 10 and level and the next temperature. So if we increase the temperature of this sensor. Right, as the temperature is increasing and also pH value will be stabilized at certain value. Right. And for the level also, water level, let us see now. So I kept the sensor here. So wait till the welcome message will be gone till that don't provide any input to the water level sensor. Now if I place any object in front of that right you can see the water level was increased. Okay, so only thing, if anything malfunctions, so just reset the Arduino, you know, so that you will get the accurate values. So this application data when, can be accessed from anywhere in the world directly and multiple mobiles can be accessed this data. Right.